What's up, guys? We're here. We're back again inside the PTR for Season 27. We got some more videos coming your way, guys, but we're pumping them out as fast as we can. But today I'm bringing you the Wizard DMO, uh, you know, cold orb or freezing orb, however you want to say it, build uh, into Season 27. DMO is going to be the Hiradra gift for Season 27 if you're going to be a wizard main. But I wanted to bring this build and actually just play it for you guys and just so you could see it. It's, um, it's actually really, really cool. Let me just save this over. The build is really, really fun. It's a different play style for me. Uh, I, I don't like anything that's too complicated or too easy, too you know, mechanical, but this build is actually really, really fun. So everything is evolved around Arcane Orb and just dealing a lot of damage. The uh, Angelic Crack power that we have is uh, Arcane Orb periodically spawns up, orbiting um, charges that would generate an additional orb one cast around you that detonate and deal a lot of damage So we're gonna get in we're gonna showcase this build real quick and just do it I was practicing on some 90s now right now at, at paragon 800 With no kind of crazy augments nothing like that. I could do a gr 90 in about three minutes And we can do a gr 100 in about five. So I'm gonna do our gr 100 um, it'd be it makes the video a little bit longer. So I want to do a GR uh, Like 90 just to show you this like how how cool the build is But DMO is finishing around like, you know, GR 140 high 30 so that can push that's really really cool So uh, the GR can actually you know pushing higher GRs with DMO can be done It's just not gonna be the best. It's not gonna be as good as Firebirds, but let's get in here and do this I don't want to take too long. I kind of just want to showcase the build. So we're just gonna do um Let's go in and just do a not you know what uh i want to showcase it but it's really fun 90 90 school we're just gonna do a 90 just just so you guys can see the build i don't want i don't want the gr um part of the video to be too long so how this build works is you want to make sure you always pop storm armor and uh magic weapon you got teleport to go around and you're going to be casting all your spells to get uh some slow time which deals a lot of damage here okay we have uh, black hole to kind of group them up. That's how I kind of like to play the build and then you shoot off Arcane orb with the four stacks, you know that are orbiting around you to deal a crap ton of damage. Okay, so the build is just really cool to play um, It's definitely different for me It's a different kind of build because you got to have certain things set up almost just to have it kind of kind of happen But otherwise the build is just really cool like you set up slow time slow time gets on everything you do a, the majority of your damage within slow time and just with arcane orb, which is great. You know, and when you're shooting the, the frozen orbs, it's really cool. You shoot four of them at a time and just decimate the entire lobby. So th this build is, is really unique in that sense. Um, it's a different kind of like slow time build, wizard build that I'm used to. But the build is really cool. And you can set it up too. So like when we get in here, you teleport around. I'm using electrocute to kind of hit more enemies just to free stuff up but i like to group them up use black hole and then i shoot my arcane orb at them after slow time has been put on top of them because you get a lot of damage when they're on slow time so i hit them with slow time and then i use uh black hole to suck them up to group them up and then i fire my arcane orbs at them which is it's kind of cool it's a little bit of a setup um so you know a lot of the times the build kind of you know, you need like a big mob for it to like really be used effectively. I don't know. In my testing, I found that the the build just kind of, you know, it's not the greatest against single target, I feel like. But then again, I don't know. My build's not very strong, so I'm not very high paragon or anything. So we're just doing, we're just doing, what is this, a 90 just to showcase the build to you guys. But uh, the, the wizard build is actually kind of a lot of fun for DMO. Like DMO, DMO got a big rework and it's got a really cool seasonal themed power with the angelic crack which you see the orbs just kind of bouncing around here so i think the build could be really really fun if you're playing wizards next season and then of course we did do our t16 pushing or excuse me our t16 farming build that we did um which i'll link that above guys the video is actually really cool if you're all about magic missiles um but this build is really cool. It's kind of, it's really easy to play once you get the hang of it. And it can be a lot of fun. It's really strong. Now, see, we're on a 90, so we're going to obliterate this guy. But on a 100, I did have a little bit of um, trouble with the Rift Guardian. So I definitely feel like the build can be, you know, 
it can be good for pushing higher GRs. You're just going to need more Paragon, and you're going to need definitely augments on your items. I don't have anything augmented. And I, as you guys can see, I'm only 800 Paragon, so, or 802. So I'm not very, very strong. But we did a GR90. This can push up to GR, you know, 140s, 135s pretty consistently. And you see right there, we just beat it in, you know, three minutes, which is really cool. So let's go over the build. This is what we have for you. Again, everything is going to be based on using... Uh, Arcane Orb. That is going to be your main damage dealer. So let's get into it. You need the full DMO set. We're using all six pieces because everything affected by slow time and then your Arcane Orbs is going to deal a crap ton of damage. Okay. So then I paired it with the new Guardians case set or Guardians Jeopardy set. We have the two piece only. We don't need the three piece because you get 100% of your base intelligence and vitality attributes from equipped items, which is really good. It helps the wizard out because the wizard is very squishy. Uh, our amulet and rings, we went with squirts for double damage and then focus and restraint for even more damage. Okay, now if you didn't want to use focus and restraint or squirts, you could do um, Traveler's Pledge plus uh, the Halo and then you swap out uh, squirts necklace and put it inside the cube. But this is what I want with, uh, I wanted a little bit more damage with the build, so focus and restraint is really good. Uh, our weapons and sources is the uh, Trimivate. I think I said that right. Uh, sp signature spells increase the damage of arcane orb which is why we have electrocute and then of course the unstoppable scepter arcane orb has an increased damage multiplier and it, uh and its explosion triggers an additional time which is huge so that's the gear that you're going to need for the build guys very easy very easy to get especially with the haradra gifts being dmo it'd be very easy to get this uh you know guardian's case is craftable and then you just got to find the rings so pretty easy to get very easy to build into the cube, we're going with the Wizard Spike to do uh, increased damage on Arcane Orb. And then you see one fly out every once in a while. Uh, Aquila's for D, uh, uh, you know, damage reduction. And then, of course, Halo uh, combined with Storm Armor for even more damage reduction. Into the skills, we got Electrocute, Surge of Power. Uh, you gain Arcane Power every time because you are going to be casting a lot of stuff. Of course, Arcane Orb, Frozen Orb. You create an orb dealing a crap ton of damage as cold. And you see them just shooting out. Teleport safe passage to get around. Storm armor, power of the storm, reduces the cost of your arcane abilities while it's active, which is huge. Uh, absolute zero black hole to kind of group enemies up. And then magic weapon deflection, which is pretty standard on the wizard. So into the passives, we have power hungry. You do more damage farther away. We have illusionist uh, to increase um, movement speed after you teleport. Arcane dynamo, this one, this one's good. I like it because you deal even more damage. Uh, in the long run because Electrocute is hitting so many enemies, so you should get that the five flashes very quickly. And then Galvanize Ward to uh, give us just even more defense because, as I said, the build is very... You know, most wizard builds are pretty squishy. So that is the DMO Frozen Orb wizard build, guys. Um, it's really flavorful, very easy to use, and I think it's going to be a really good wizard build in Season 27 because it is the Haradric Gifts, as I said. It's not going to be as strong as... Uh, Firebirds, but the build is really cool. Some stuff may change with this as always because we're still in PTR But I really think this build is cool. It's great. So if you're a wizard main definitely look at playing this It's a little different uh, DMO got a rework in, in this season coming up So it's great to see the wizard have more than basically just firebirds So this is great if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like as always The support you guys have been giving me has been absolutely insane. We're pumping these out We only got a week left in the PTR. So we got a lot of videos coming your way uh, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. That really helps out the channel. And then, as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.